Hi everybody, today I'm going to go through a video of... Hi everybody, today I'm going to go through a video of all the different picks that I use. And I like to use really thick picks and I've gotten a ton of questions, particularly about the large purple plectrums that I use. And I wanted to make a video um, to answer those questions as well as just a video for me to see the different picks side by side and what the advantages of a super thick pick are. So when I go to record a new track, and I have to pick which plectrum I'm going to use, it's generally between three different kinds and we're going to go through those three in this video and compare them. So the first pick we're going to look at is just a regular plastic pick and this is going to kind of be the control um, for this to compare to the thicker ones. This one I got from Chicago Music Exchange and is just all around a uh, regular plastic pick. The second we're going to look at is my favorite pick a purple plectrum, a 9mm purple plectrum. I've used this one on a ton of songs so far and it's the one I get the most questions about. The third pick we're gonna look at are one of these Dragon Hearts picks and this is, they have three different kinds and this is, I think is the most regular of them. Um, it's two and a half millimeters, it has beveled sides. You might have seen other YouTubers use these, these are kind of becoming more popular. They have three different sides for different types of attack. Um, though for this video I'm just gonna be using the regular side, it's the one I normally use and uh, just to keep the video from being, you know, an hour long. This pick I've been using a ton recently. I think it's only in one main channel video so far and it's on a bunch of tracks that haven't come out yet as I'm working on a new, like, little EP that will feature pretty much exclusively this one I use on it. And it's kind of a middle ground between the plastic pick and the purple plectrum. Um, obviously in thickness, uh, as well as I think it really shines with the distorted guitar. And then we're going to look at a fourth pick, and this one's really just for fun. This is the 25mm Purple Plectrum. This thing is a behemoth, and it's more, I got this from Purple Plectrums as more of a prop. You know, I've used it in a few videos, and I think sonically it does shine in a few areas, um, but overwhelmingly this is more of just a prop. It's something to put in a video, and, you know, it's interesting. Not, you don't see people play with picks that are just this, uh, mahoosive that often, so... So yeah, it's just kind of a fun thing for videos. I guess it really shines if you want to strum as aggressively as possible, um, this would be the one to get. But I'm mostly putting it in the video um, just, as, just as an extreme example. So I'm going to talk about a few different aspects of these picks. Um, though obviously the most important aspect is how they sound. So that's going to be the majority of this video. Um, after I get done yapping, the rest of the video will be um, these four different picks back to back with different instruments and different ways of playing. And that way you can really see uh, where some of these shine and where some of them don't. Um, so instead of me, you know, taking a ton of time to explain to you why I don't use the plastic picks when I'm doing, say, light strumming on a clean electric guitar, because um, if you strum with a regular, it's one of those things where, like, once you hear it, you can't unhear it. When you have one of these regular plastic picks and you strum on a clean electric um, or an acoustic, you get this, like, thwappy, like, ch -ch 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 -ch, like, percussive sound as if there's almost like that guy in the bluegrass band that plays the washboard board is just you know strumming along with you and uh, I always use the thicker picks as they get rid of that sound as I don't like having the washboard guy um, playing along with me so instead of explaining that to you and you just maybe taking my word for it you can hear it and who knows maybe maybe you'll disagree maybe you would prefer to have that guy playing or maybe you don't hear him at all maybe I'm just crazy um, but yeah, the second half, or the majority of this video is going to be just them back to back. But first to some aspects other than how they sound is first how comfortable they are to play with. And for me, that's a landslide victory um, by the 9mm Purple Plectrum. Um, I find playing with thicker picks to be far more comfortable as well as this is kind of like a, like a really, really hard leathery texture. Like it's really grippy, but it's not... It's almost like, um, I remember the Nooks, like when they first came out, or like even some, I think some Google tablets have this like really hard leathery surface on the back. It's kind of like that. Um, it's hard to explain, but I find the thicker picks to be far more comfortable. So, I mean, at first when I first got this, it was a little bit weird. Um, took some getting used to, but now that I've been playing with this and regular picks back to back, um, this is just a landslide victory. So, in second place there would be the Dragon Heart pick, as I find thicker picks to be more comfortable. And, um, but some people prefer the regular picks. The thwappiness um, is not something that I like. And once you've played thicker picks for a while, I find it's, it seems like dinky, like you're playing with this little, this little pick. Um, 
but you know people would disagree and then last place would be the uh, behemoth here um, at this size uh, I, th I think just about everyone would find it harder to play with unless you're playing like a contra 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 base or something the next one I wanted to bring up was durability which um, I probably don't find that important I mean when it comes to the purple electrons or the dragon's heart these are going to last pretty much forever and these are going you're gonna go through a lot of them um, they're gonna get scraped and ruined pretty quickly but also, that brings me to my next point with these, is because it doesn't really matter when it comes to the price point. I got this for free from Chicago Music Exchange, as well as you can get them for free just in a guitar center. You know, for a pick like this, if it has the brand name on it, um, it's worth it to the store to just give it out for free and then you can be reminded of that store. And um, Or just other regular picks, are they vary, of course, but they're extremely low price point. Um, and like I said, with this particular pick, it's, I mean, it's free. And then to the purple plectrums, unfortunately, here's the big disadvantage to these, is that they are very expensive. This currently goes for $45, and obviously that's a whole lot for a guitar pick. And when I was first given this, if you wanted to buy one, it was at $85 to start. And then there were some uh, different models that went up to even past $100 for a guitar pick. And that's because these purple plectrums, unfortunately, aren't mass produced. Um, when I got them, it was through a friend of the person who makes these, and the person who makes these, it's not a big company, it's just one guy who I believe just has a regular full-time job, and he just likes making things and happens to be really good at making guitar picks, and uh, it's not even the only thing that he makes, and it's more of just a hobby, so every single one of these are handmade by one person, So, and it's apparently very time-consuming to make, so they're a expensive. I've wanted to do something where I can like shout out these picks in a video or even have a signature pick, you know, maybe with an inlay or whatnot, but just um, being that this isn't from a company where they can be mass produced, I wouldn't feel comfortable trying to sell picks, you know, that are $50. Um, and uh, yeah, they're more of a uh, specialty thing, I guess. On that note though, for the Dragon Hearts picks, these are more of a specialty pick, um, but they're a lot cheaper. These go for $9 a pick, and I was able to get in contact with the company and get a discount code for 10% off. So you can use RobPick10 um, when you purchase one of these to get 10% off, bring it down to about $8, um, as well as they have packs um, if you want to try the different ones out. They have a few different kinds. Um, so if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description and a discount code for you to get 10% off if you want to try one of these out. So without further ado, the rest of the video is going to be these different picks um, with different instruments and different playing styles. And I also have time codes in the description if you want to go right to see how they gent or something like that. Um, so yeah, enjoy.